don't see any real huge issues with this bike. It's it's compact, its geometry allows me to flick it through some of these trails. And uh, real comfortable. It, it, uh, it navigates this terrain very well. Now, I don't have um, proper pressure perhaps for the bike right now. I have uh, about 22 psi and a 20 pound rate of tire. Um, I do that for a bit more road compliance more than anything, but it's one of those things you, for me anyway, being a being a mountain biker, it's still in my blood. And um, I see trails like this and I'm just like, okay, well, I have to ride that. Um, and that's what happened with this one. So I figured I'd take you along for the ride today and show you that the bike is capable of this type of trail. Um, I'm gonna stress though that you don't buy this bike with the intent of you know, riding this solely as a mountain bike because it's not designed for that. It's designed for multiple terrain. It's designed for commuting, for adventure rides, uh, things of that nature. Um, but interestingly enough, it does quite well on these four single track trails. Well, there you have it guys the versatility of this bike is astounding for what it is at under a thousand dollars i can take this commuting i can take this on adventure rides like we did today and enjoy some single track on top of it now, i will put the disclaimer out there again i do not recommend that you buy this bike with the sole intent of using it as a mountain bike you're going to break it you're going to hurt yourself so with that in mind guys really versatile bike really nice really fun easy to afford i mean for most people that's Pretty easy to afford when you consider that other e-bikes can be three, four, five, six thousand dollars and up. Uh, for a commuter style bike, for an adventure style bike, for something you can fold up, throw in the SUV and take with you. 48 volt, uh, 500 watt motor, disc brakes front and rear, which I plan on changing out to the XTEC HB100. But, you know, pedals I, sw I swapped out. I got some better pedals on here. They feel nicer. They grip my shoes better. No need for clipless on that whatsoever. Bags and stuff, that's all subjective. What you're looking at, guys, is look at the core. What you have right here as far as the bike goes for under a grand. I don't think you can beat it. I haven't seen anything yet that comes close uh, to the value that Ecotrick is packing into these bikes. Um, if you guys have any questions on it, please put... Uh, comments down in the comments section uh if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you don't like it give it a thumbs down post comments help me with the algorithm we'll see you all in the next one guys and god bless the republic